All right, I was online looking around for a video today of how to disassemble and clean the Marlin 39A. And I could not find one, so I figured I'd get adventurous, take it apart myself, and make a video at the same time. So, gonna show you, got you clipped into the mothership right now. Uh, Couple disclaimers right off the bat too. One, I'm not a pro gunsmith. Two, I'm not a pro video maker. So, uh, you guys are just gonna have to deal with it. But the takedown is relatively simple. You will need two tools: regular flathead screwdriver, and this guy here, also a uh, flathead screwdriver. Don't know how well you can see that, but just took it off of a. Uh, out of the tackle box, and that right there, you, the camera might shake around a little bit. We got some of the family members down here. There's one. There's the other one, doesn't want to be filmed right now. But, anyways, uh, let's rock and roll. If the camera bounces around, it's either just Tucker or one of the cats. So, we're off. The first thing to do is. Got this big old screw right here. 30, oh, for all you guys out there. Unloaded. All right. Uh, safety on. Action has to be closed. Got this big old screw right here. Don't know how well you can see that. First thing you do is you gotta take this, and you gotta unscrew it. Unscrew it. And then, once you get it started, you can just take it out with your hands and you unscrew it until it's nice and wobbly like that. So, we got this thing out. I don't know how well you can see that, but it's pretty wobbly. Now, this part here is the kind of screwy part. I don't know how well I'm going to be able to get this. I'll tell you what, I'm going to unclip from the mothership so we can try to show some details in here. Uh, because I think it's important. You can see, hopefully, um, hold on, let me get this, can't focus that well there. There are some lines here, and this is machined out here, machined out all the way around. It's actually two separate parts, and it has to come apart there. And you should be able to tell by looking at it that where this part, this is connected to the stock, by the way, that I'm touching right now. And then this is going up to the forend. They're going to come apart now that this screw's undone. And you're going to want to uh, push them apart. The owner's manual, let me clip back in here. Okay. And for this video, too, I'm not actually going to clean the gun. I'm just going to take it apart. I want to be able to fit it in 10 minutes, but uh, if I don't fit it in 10 minutes, I'll just do a couple parts. What the owner, owner's manual says to do is put down a cloth or something like that and actually bang the gun to get it apart. So there you can see two parts comes apart. Uh, this part here will come off. There is a screw here. Um, not feeling very adventurous tonight. So, uh, this gun only has about 150 rounds in it too. Probably just oil this up, clean this up a little bit. Not going to take this whole assembly out. Might do that in another video, but up near the, the breech, as you probably know with rimfire rounds, oh, there you go Tucker, with rimfire rounds, there you go. Uh, a lot of gunk from the black powder, so it happens when you're shooting crappy ammo, but anyways, they, maybe you can see it like that. The, the bolt right there slides right out. Slides right, right out. Now, uh, let me unclip from the mothership again this part. Also kind of important, oh, easy wild man, 
Okay, so uh, here's the bolt. I'm gonna push it back in. I'm gonna push it back in. Okay, when the bolt slides out, you're gonna slide it out to a point, and you'll feel it kind of hit right there, and there's a little notch there, so you slide it out to that point, and then you can pick it up. Now, here, uh, this little groove here that my thumb, my thumb is on right there, my thumb net, slide right up and down here, this actually catches into, I don't know if you can see that that well, but right there, I can try to point to it with my finger, right there there's a little groove and that let me clip back in here sorry about this guys but uh this kind of screwed me up when i was putting it back together so uh, there we are this just has to fit right in there and then that little notch uh right here this is going to have to be what slides up and down, so that'll slide back in, right like so. Um, i try to move this a little closer for this. good now this part here is the last uh, tricky part if you will I don't know why that's not focusing that well uh, get a piece of paper real quick How about the owner's manual maybe that'll help Okay, right there, that's pretty good. You can see there's this screw here, uh, right off to the right, and then this is the ejector. Now, I don't have enough hands right now. Now the ejector, right here, springs up and down. Easy, like that. What, uh, what you have to do is, I'll try to show you. What you have to do is, you take the ejector, push it down with one screwdriver, and then the other screw is slotted. That push it down with the big screwdriver. Push it down with the big screwdriver. Little screwdriver turns that little screw over, and that'll hold it down. And when that's held down, then you can clean right down the barrel. But otherwise, you wouldn't want to clean down the barrel. You'll hit the ejector. You could break it. Uh, from what I've read, that's prone to breaking if you try to clean it like that. This thing here. Uh, with a red thing is just let me try to that is just the magazine tube. Oh. That's just a magazine tube. I don't know if you can see it there. There it is. I don't know how well you guys can see that. But uh other than that, that's really all there is to it. Pretty easy takedown. Again, the ejector, push it down with one screwdriver. Turn that other screw over right at the tip of my thumb. Turn that one over to hold the ejector down. Clean from the chamber up to the muzzle always in the direction of the bullet. And then this part here, the action, uh, from what I understand, will will uh, loosen up with use. It's a little tight on this guy right now. But should be all right. Uh, Hope this helps. Couldn't find a video myself. Oh, another another important point: do not do not unscrew that all the way. Uh, that would be a big mistake. But after it goes together. Really, there's only three parts. M might do this assembly in another video. But uh, like I said, hope that helps. Uh, it's better than nothing. If you have any questions, send me a message or something. I'll try to help. But really. Uh, Really not too tough. Uh, oh, that's all. Take care, guys.